and um, basically uh, the story of Jack Crawford is he was um, sort of the hero of the Battle of uh, Camperdown, and um, the story is it was a battle at uh, a battle at sea, and um, the British flag at the top of the ship was, uh, you know, kind of flying flying high, and then uh, was shot off the top of the ship under heavy fire, which was a sign of uh, surrender. And uh, the story is that Jack bravely grabbed hold of the flag, climbed up to the top of the ship, and nailed the flag back on, uh, which is where the phrase uh, "nailing your colours to the mast" uh, originates, and that is the main chorus line to this song. Chorus line? That's not right, is it? That's the that's the thing with the dancing girls, isn't it? <laughs> By all means, do that too. Um, but the, uh, the chorus basically goes, uh, nailed his colours to the mast, nailed his colours to the mast. Then there's a line that changes every time, and then nailed his colours to the mast. So it's a little bit like singing happy birthday when you've no idea whose birthday it is. Um, so line three is always a little bit dodgy, but lines one, two, and four are always the same. And this is by uh, Johnny Handel, who's a great uh, folk singer and musician from, from, again, from the northeast who is the subject of one of my favourite song lyrics of all time, uh, which was written by Jez Lowe, one of my favourite favorite musicians in the world. And uh, I, I thought you might. He's played <laughs> most places. <laughs> um, yeah, he's amazing. And uh, he wrote a great line in a song called Hadaway Ganon, and it was, um, a Scotsman said my songs were shite and my accent was a scandal, and the only true-born Geordies left were Sting and Johnny Handel, which I thought was excellent. <laughs> but this is Jack Crawford. Nail this car. 